Come in. Okay, the reason I'm taking this video is because today is Ben's birthday. Ben turns 14 years old today and I decided to take a video of Ben who um, has just turned 14 and has just climbed up a fairly big hill which you can't see and yes he did slow down uh, during that because he is getting a bit old and yes he keeps doubling back to see where I am and what I'm doing most Border Collies live somewhere between 12 and 14 years of age Ben has exceeded all that because some Border Collies who get to the age that Ben has done have pretty much reached the stage where uh, they're almost ready to be put in a nursing home for dogs where they basically can't walk very well anymore can't get up very well anymore but Ben's doing very well well, I'm sorry if this is getting out of focus at any stage at all. Uh, you keep stumbling back and then sometimes they get a little bit ahead. But also I'm trying to show just how beautiful Tasmania is. Uh, we're going through bushland in Tasmania at the moment. And Ben will keep going in and out of shot because basically he keeps wandering backwards and forwards. Because he's enjoying himself at the moment. And this is part of his birthday celebrations. Now he's just wading through water as you can probably see and I'm going to have to wade through the same water because it's been raining like crazy in Tasmania at the moment. I'm probably just about to go sprawling over somewhere and get my feet stuck in the mud and the water and everything else. And we're just wading through this because there's no other way to get to the other side. Now Ben, you go first. If you hear a big scream, you know I somehow fell over into the water. Here we go. So Ben, come here. Here you go mate, come on, quick. I want you to be in shot, that's what I want you to be. You're not much in shot at the moment. Things we're celebrating your birthday. Yes, Tasmania is a very beautiful place. Very cold and very wet and it's been raining lots um, in the recent uh, few weeks. Our weather hasn't been that great. It also snows around here. And uh, in actual fact, when we first arrived here today, you could see where the snow had been lying on the ground, but it has now melted. So one day I might actually take uh, you for another walk with Ben when it's actually snowing. And we are walking through the snow. Now, I don't want to make this video too long, but I also did want to show you Ben, and a little bit more of Ben in his native habitat. Border Collies are sheep dogs and they're bred purposely uh, to round up sheep and even cattle dogs, mostly rounding up sheep. Well, they're very, very good at doing that. And here comes Ben again. And Ben, of course, is having a little bit of a look around. And what I might do in a moment, when we get to another section, I might actually try and pan around a little bit just to give you also another idea of just how beautiful this place is. If you're into the, the sun and the surf, Tazi probably isn't the best place to come to. We do get a reasonable summer, but it tends to be fairly short and lasts no more than, say, three to four months. And we do have some of the nicest beaches in Australia, but they're usually fairly deserted. One, because we have a fairly small population. The whole population of Tasmania is only about 500,000. And because, I suppose these days, lots of kids are sitting inside on their computers and checking their YouTube accounts. And also because, I'm not really sure, but most of our beaches, if you go on the most beautiful day in the middle of summer, where it's hitting about 30 degrees, you won't find too many people on many of our beaches. Some of our more popular beaches you'll find lots of people, people sunbaking or even surfing on some of our more surfy type beaches, but most of our beaches are fairly deserted. 
Now, very soon, we'll come to a spot where we can pan around just a little bit. Probably not the best spot to pan around, but we'll see how we go. Ben, of course, is not doing too bad a job there. Have to remember, he is old. So not quite as sprightly as he used to be, but he's still doing a fairly good job. But he's doing a better job than me. That might not be that hard to do. But we do go for a fairly reasonable walk every day, so he is used to doing this. Um, we'll go for a walk at least an hour to an hour and a half every day, which helps to keep him fit and me fit as well. I also like to do other things, of course. I like to swim, I like to play table tennis, I like to play eight ball, and a few other things, and even darts. Not that they're particularly active sports, if you could call them sports, some of them, but it helps to keep me amused. And I hope you're getting some sense of just how nice Tasmania is, and even a, a sense of how nice a dog Ben is. Now, it's a bit hard to pan around. I'm going to catch the sun, so it's not going to really work very well. But Tasmania is one of the most beautiful places on the planet, and I know I'm biased, but it really is. And I would even say this is one of the most beautiful parts of Tasmania. And we're now about to come down another one of those little hills I spoke of earlier. So I may get a little bit of an idea, or not, of what we had to come up, all the sorts of... I don't know if that actually gives you the idea of some of the terrain we have to actually walk up to actually get here. It's fairly steep, and... Ben doesn't do too bad a job. He slows down a little bit, and he has this tendency to zigzag, which makes it easier because he doesn't have to walk continually straight uphill, like me. Uh, he will zigzag across the path and of course he'll keep coming back to where I am to make sure I'm not getting left behind and he has further treats lined up for him today he'll get extra special treats he won't get a birthday cake don't know that he'd really appreciate a birthday cake I'm not too sure he'd blow any of the candles out I don't know whether I should have taken that photo but um, yeah and he won't get any presents I don't think he really understand what presents were I don't think he'd really sit there and unwrap any. And I don't think I'd really give him any birthday cards, but it was a nice thought. So, but he will get extra special treats today because it is his birthday. So if anyone's never been to Tasmania before, and this helps inspire you to come here, it is a beautiful place. Don't come in winter unless you like the snow. Uh, come in summer, that's the best time to come. We're a very friendly lot of people. Very beautiful. Um, Hobart is the second oldest city uh, in Australia, and uh, we were settled in 1803, which by European standards isn't particularly old, but we are the second oldest city in Australia um, after Sydney. Sydney was settled in 1788, and we were the second city which got settled in 1803, uh, which was unsuccessful, but the following year it was settled by Lieutenant, Lieutenant Collins, and that was in 1804. And so we have lots of old buildings left, so Hobart's well worth a visit, apart from we have a, the most beautiful river in the world, and we have the most beautiful mountain in the world, and some of the most beautiful scenery in the world. So I hope even this is giving you a bit of an idea of the sort of places, and the sort of walks, and the sort of scenery you can expect to see in Tasmania if you ever come here. And also how well Ben's doing for his age. Because in human terms, he's probably in his 90s. 